Stop asking me if we can switch seats on an airplane. You have the ability to purchase your seats together, even if you have to pay more, too bad. If you're with a child, make sure you book your seat next to each other because if you ask me I'm going to be annoyed and you may get an annoyed reply and I don't want to hear it's not that big of a deal. It's extreme annoying and people do that shit on legit every flight. Stop acting brand new. You go to concerts and ask people to switch seats. No, you fucking buy seats together. Edit glad I was able to piss off people, I feel as if Christmas came early for me happy holidays everyone and stay in your fucking seat. It's especially frustrating when they ask and you paid extra for that seat. Someone asked me to do this in first class and I had a window seat. Yeah. No. If they say it's not that big of a deal tell them it is to you, but since it seems to not be a big deal to them then they should stop complaining about it. I don't mind if they offer something better. But no, I don't want your middle for my aisle seat. I've even heard of those asking seats up front with more leg room for theirs halfway back. Why don't you offer your kid's seat up front to the person in back next to you? I've never had anyone ask me, or anyone I know, but I've had people take our seats, I just told them you're in our seats, and showed them our seat numbers they had the audacity to get all huffy about it, and were rude. We had to tell them twice. Oh, the shitheads who think they are entitled. What I hate even more is when they deliberately take your seat before even asking. Inconsiderate asf. Kindness wears thin when abused. I always did, but one woman was so off-putting and demanded that I give up her economy plus seat for her shitty middle back seat. I told her no, and she got upset. The real villains are the airlines forcing you to pay to save a seat you already paid for while the peons squabble about what is socially acceptable. I once had a couple sitting aisle and window with me in the middle only seat left and they just casually chatted and passed food across me. I asked if they wanted to switch either way and they said no. Those armrests became 100 mine. You go to concerts and ask people to switch seats. Literally happened to me at the Boston Symphony on four separate occasions. I've had to hear the asker once. That's because even though I booked seats together, my flight was changed the night before and we were nork seated together. My wife and I were on the same row but had a stranger between us, while my four year old was given an aisle five rows back from us. Fortunately the guy between the wife and I was happy to move. I paid to sit in the window seat, it's my window seat especially BC I'm an aviation nerd. I think it's okay as long as the seat you're moving into is better than the one you're moving out of. If the person asking is two rows back or in a middle seat they can eat my ass. But if they have an aisle or window in my row or closer to the front I'll switch almost any time. Airlines sometimes fuck up travelers too. My wife and two small kids were traveling to the US. Their original flute had gotten cancelled, and their together seat reservation got fucked. Put a four years old and a seven years old in different parts of the plane from mom. Gate agent and stewards did jack all. I am six feet four inches and scored an exit row seat for free and was happy about it, this guy next to me was talking to some girl a couple rows back and he looked at me and started to ask so, uh, would you mind possibly? I went no before he could even finish his sentence. He ended up going back to her and her neighbor came up to the exit row and was all excited about the impromptu upgrade. Who the fuck would ask a tall guy to bail on the exit row? I will pay extra for a window seat because I am an anxious flyer and I need to be able to look out and calm down. I will not switch seats unless it's an upgrade to another window seat. Personally, I wouldn't mind switching if they are nice about it and if I only need to move over one seat not sit in a different row or aisle. I wouldn't want to be the awkward monkey in the middle between a parent and child or between a couple. But if I have a window seat then I ain't giving it up. I could never be bold enough to ask that. It's a no every time. I'm about the size of an NFL tight end, the only seat I can even tolerate is the aisle. I'll move if I can get another aisle, outside of that, absolutely not, not sitting immobile for 5 hours because the airline sucks or people bought a ticket last minute. 
I'm short and I hate sitting at the emergency exit can't have my laptop down by my feet. I always ask someone tall if they wanna switch. They always happily agree win-win. The only time I've seen this happen is when tickets together were not available, but the people asking were trying to trade their window seat for someone's middle seat. As the person in the middle I gladly accepted and was thrilled they asked. If the seat I'm offered is a marginal improvement then I don't mind, but I won't downgrade my experience because somebody was too cheap. I mean, they can ask. Hearing it once a flight is not that much in the grand scheme of things. The problem is if they get pissy when you say no, I am O. And people do go to concerts and ask if they can switch seats. Not saying I do it, but I've seen it happen. I have a standard practiced response. $500 cash and you bring the attendant to us to approve it. It works when the attendant asks for me to move too. Sir, we need you to have a seat elsewhere. Okay $500 cash, and you have a printed ticket for me, right? Had this happened to me once on an eight-hour flight. Lady wanted to sit with her husband who was sitting next to me. I agreed since both were I'll however this lady sitting next to me at my new seat had terrible cold and was coughing and sneezing the entire flight. Within a day or so I was hit with a horrible cold that I had never experienced before. So yes I am never saying yes to another seat exchange unless someone has a real genuine reason. I'm usually okay with moving as long as I'm alone and I don't have a good seat at the front of the plane. But I'm kind of a pushover and would probably move if there was a legitimate reason. See I get where you're coming from, however if someone asked politely LD probably move. My only annoyance with people asking to move seats is when they don't take no for an answer and continue to pester you into moving. I always book a window seat in the exit row, if someone wants me to switch they can pay me but it better be a window seat, I choose that seat so I am not dealing with people getting up to go pee. I either don't want to be bothered or I want to be able to sleep. I'm a tall guy and I'm not exchanging my aisle or exit row seat with you. If I get wedged into a center seat for more than three hours I feel crippled getting off that plane. I was on a flight recently where a white it's relevant later man and his white teenage son were sitting together in the extra leg room aisle. A POC won't assume her race but not white woman asked the man to switch with her she was seated one two rows back on the opposite side of the aisle in a regular seat. Her reasoning was that she had a tight connection and wanted to be able to hop up fast when we landed. When he said no she screamed that he was a racist white supremacist. It was wildly awkward. I am the first to admit that white guys have a lot of privilege, but this was not it flushed face. I don't mind if they offer equivalent or better. The other day a bloke asked to trade his middle seat for my aisle, that was a hard no. I've had to ask before. My son's dad died of cancer, and I had to book a last-minute flight. We were on three planes that day, and on the last one we couldn't get our seats together. The first person they called up to ask said no, but I will be forever grateful to the next man that was so kind and didn't even think twice about giving up his seat. He had no idea what we were going through that day, but his kind gesture made our very difficult day just a little bit easier. The only times I will ever switch on an airplane is if the person who asks me to switch is by a window seat and is terrified of heights. I love window seats, because I get to look out the plane. If I can go from a middle to an aisle or a window then sure. Otherwise nope, unless it's a parent with a young child and no one else is budging and I'm flying solo. Then I'd probably help them out since I'm a dad of young children myself and I get it and I'm usually the one worrying about this when flying with my family lol. They should sell I don't care where to sit seats. Yeah, agreed. I had someone ask me to switch with a tone of I know you'll say yes. I was an aisle seat. She was the row behind me in the middle. She wanted to sit next to her like 14-year-old son. I said no thanks. She huffed and puffed asking if it's really that big a deal and how that's her son. I simply replied no way in hell I'm taking a middle seat, ask others. She started to bitch but then someone next to her offered her son his seat and all was sell, as she gave me a dirty look. Blah, don't care.